Hello everybody, this is Basic Ball for the official Epic Duel channel and I am here to show you guys another preview. What I will be showing you today are all the new grenades that will be available after the update. Before this update there were two different grenades you could get, the Infernal Grenade and the Super Infernal Grenade. With this new update there will be four more grenades that you will be able to get, the Stellar Grenade, the Crystal Grenade, the Hammer Grenade and the Short Circuit Grenade. In this video I will be showing all six of these. Let me start by going to the bomb bot. As you can see, all grenades are buyable here, with the exception of the Super Infernal Grenade. All six grenades are available as a drop though. Next I'll be showing you these grenades in battle, and explain some possible strategies with them. Since they are only usable against the vault, I will skip the warfights in this video. The Infernal and Super Infernal Grenade are very alike. Both of them do damage, and have a chance to do a critical hit effectively doubling their damage. The Super Infernal Grenade is the most powerful of the two and has the highest damage potential of all grenades. Throw them at the vault for some fast, easy damage. As you can see, that was the normal Infernal Grenade. Next up will be the Super Infernal Grenade, which does a lot more damage. The next grenade I will be explaining is a Stellar Grenade. You may have noticed that the Vault's offensive power greatly increases on each turn. When you throw the Stellar Grenade, his attack will reset to that which it was in the beginning of the fight. The later in the fight you use this, the more effective it can be. I will show you this principle by an example. As you can see, on its first attack, the Vault did 20 damage to me. However, on its next attack, it should do more damage. Let's take a look here. This is the second attack of the Vault, and the Vault does about 30 damage to me. Now, when I throw the Stellar Grenade, it should reset the Vault's damage to a lower level. In this case, it should do back around 20 or less damage. In this case, 15. So, that is how the Stellar Grenade works. Remember, the later, the later in the fight you use it, the better. This is the Hammer Grenade. The hammer grenade would be best described as a gamble. It has a low damage output with a 50% damage to do a huge amount of damage more. Use it when you're feeling lucky and you want to do some high damage in a low amount of turns. Up next is the crystal grenade. This grenade freezes the vault for two turns, effectively giving you a free turn. All you have to do is click the button. The layer of ice will stop the vault for two turns. Last but not least is a short circuit grenade. This grenade causes the vault to backfire his next attack on itself. It would be advised to use it on the last turn of the fight or right before you use a stellar grenade so that the damage output is maximum. You will see me use it in just a second. There we go. Now. As I throw this, I do some damage, and you will be able to see that the next vault damage backfires upon itself. Well, that was it for this preview, I hope you will stay tuned and enjoy the rest of the war. Basic Ball out!